to be the most impromptu intro video that I have ever done, but today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, some style pieces I picked up throughout the past month. They're fallish style pieces, kind of transitional uh, tees, shirts, jeans, things of that nature. And I'm just going to show you guys how I uh, style those for everyday wear. And I literally just stopped mid video to film this, so let's just go ahead and start. <laughs> Okay, so let's start out with my favorite basic tees. These are the Gap Boyfriend tees and they're the V-neck style. I think they also make these in a crew neck or a scoop neck. I prefer the V-neck. I have these in several colors and I just recently picked up three new shades for fall. The first one is the one you're seeing here. It is a mineral washed olive color. It looks a little gray, but it's more green uh, in real life. So just keep that in mind. I love it. It's probably my favorite and I like to wear a bra underneath them sometimes and kind of wear them off the shoulder they're just really versatile you can do a lot with them you can layer them I prefer wearing them most of the time with a casual outfit like this with just a pair of jeans and uh, they do run quite big just keep that in mind they are a boyfriend style I order mine in medium because I like the really oversized look but if you prefer something that's a little bit more tailored then you might want to uh, size down and get your regular size or maybe something uh, a little smaller so yeah, you can really pair these with anything. I just wanted to share these because they're great quality. They last forever and they're normally between 12 and 15 bucks. This next outfit is fairly new as well. I picked up the sweater from uh, Forever 21 and it's got that really cool crisscross open detail back. Uh, I'm seeing this a lot for fall sweaters so I think it's definitely going to be a trend this season. And I just wear normally my black bralette underneath it. I've really been enjoying wearing black underneath a white where you can just kind of see the overshadow. And the jeans are from H&M. Now I got these actually a couple months ago uh, so I don't know how available they still are but uh, yeah those are the deets on this outfit I just love how chill and comfy it is this is probably my favorite outfit I have picked up recently. I purchased the sweater and the black denim jacket from Gap, and the sweater is hands down one of my favorites I think I have ever purchased. It has a slightly boxy fit to it, and it's also slightly cropped. Not so much that it would show your tummy, but it's great for high riser jeans or high waisted jeans. The jeans I'm wearing with it are the Madewell uh, Perfect Fall Jean, and those are a really high rise uh, style jean I think they're like a 10 inch high rise uh, and then the jacket is actually a black denim so it's not as full-on as a leather jacket and I really like that because I think it's a bit more casual it doesn't automatically make your look uh, kind of like that moto biker style it's just a little bit more wearable and casual and uh, I really love the belt detail uh, it's really great quality so both of those were from Gap and I just love this look these slides that I'm wearing those loafers they were from just fab they're kind of old uh, but just wearing the sweater alone with a pair of high riser jeans I think is super classic and um, just very me This next outfit is definitely dressy casual. The flare sleeve top is also from Gap. My flare jeans are from Old Navy, surprisingly. These fit so well, and most of the time Old Navy jeans don't really fit me the best. And then my heels were also from Old Navy, but they're quite old. Uh, so this top is not one that I would normally wear. I don't normally go for the flared kind of bell sleeve style, but I thought this was fit, I almost fell. <laughs> I thought this one was um, kind of just hidden it's definitely more of a subtle bell sleeve and it just doesn't scream like ruffles so that's why I chose it I thought it would be a nice kind of flouncy girly top just for uh, a dressy casual look this is also a dressy casual outfit I picked up from Target. Target has a new line called A New Day, and it's just a new clothing line that they're carrying, and it is phenomenal quality at a great price. Uh, I ordered quite a few pieces from it, and these were two standouts that I ordered. Uh, the pants, I still have the tag on because uh, I'm going to have to exchange them. I ordered them in a small, and they are way too big for me, um, so just keep that in mind. You will have to size down maybe one to two sizes so I'm gonna have to order an extra small which I never wear so that's just really rare for me to do just wanted to throw that out there and then the top is just a sheer kind of PJ style top that's uh, really in right now so love this for again a dressy casual look 
Speaking of the PJ top trend, I found this one at Forever 21 for 12 bucks. I started seeing this trend during the uh, Nordstrom anniversary sale and some of those tops were around 40 bucks and I was like, I'm not paying 40 bucks for a PJ top. So I lucked out and found this one at Forever 21 and it is so cute, so, so, so cute. Uh, it's just it's just casual, just wear it with a pair of jeans and some slides and you're good to go. I just love, I'm kind of on board with this PJ top. Uh, not gonna lie. So just wanted to throw that in there. Super cheap at Forever 21. This next outfit is like my everyday casual running errands outfit. I purchased the sweater from Zara. Uh, it's very oversized. I would definitely recommend sizing down in it. I ordered mine in a medium and I wish I would have gotten a small, but you know, I have a bad tendency of throwing my stuff in the dryer on hot, so I feel like it may shrink a bit. Uh, nothing else is new that I'm wearing here. I just paired it with some Madewell crop jeans and my favorite uh, slide-ons or slip-ons these were from Old Navy years ago but I love them and I wear them almost every single day So I've already posted this sweater on my Instagram and everybody wanted to know the details. This is a Zara sweater as well, very oversized. Again, I probably should have ordered a small in it, but once you tuck it in, it looks a little bit more fitted. And as you can see, it just has pearl details along the sleeves and everywhere else is just black. This is a very great, very great, this is a great quality sweater. Uh, just in case if you're wondering, it is very well made and uh, my boots boots are actually fairly new too. Those are just the Lucky Basil boots and they are uh, just the black style. So love this casual outfit, especially uh, the sweater. Last but not least is a sweater I almost forgot to put in here, but this is also a Gap sweater. So many people asked me about it in my Instagram story and also when I filmed a video in it. Uh, it's from Gap and the color is actually called Princess Pink, but just keep in mind it's more of a soft mauve color. Uh, it's not very pink at all once you get it in. So just wanted to include that because several people were interested. Let me know which outfit was your favorite and if you would like me to keep doing doing style videos like this. I really enjoyed it uh, and I hope you guys did too. So I will see you, I guess, in my next video. Bye.